In this tutorial, we'll begin from where we left off in Tutorial 1. You can edit your most recent Cliplet project by tapping in the lower left corner. If you remember, we had two layers, a background frame with a looping layer on top. The background depicts the girl suspended in air, while the loop shows Pinocchio pedaling his bicycle. Here we'll add some new layers. Tapping New Layer brings up a new green layer, again defaulting to a loop. If you touch loop, you will see there are a number of other choices. Here I'll select to create a play layer. If you look on the cliplet timeline at the bottom, you can see the play layer covers a single short span of time which I can place at some location in my cliplet. I'm going to make it a bit longer in time to slow it down, and I'll also place it towards the beginning of the cliplet. There's also a hold frame at the start and end we will discuss later. We need to create a mask to define which part of the video is seen in this layer. Here I draw in a line from top to bottom. I will then use the Fill tool to fill in the right side. The bit of the input that plays is defined on the input timeline. Here I'm going to adjust the end to find a nice smile on the girl. I'll leave the start to match up with her suspended in the air. Let's see what this looks like. I tap play. We see the girl up in the air. When we reach the play layer, she jumps down and freezes. Cycling back to the start, she pops back up in the air, and this repeats. I want to add one more layer. This one will also be a play layer, but I will now choose a reverse play, which will make time go backwards. This time, I will set it near the end of the cliplet and make it a bit longer as before. And again, I will create a similar mask by drawing a line and filling in to the right to cover the girl's jump. Let's see what we have. Oops, I did not set the input, so I'll pause. And let's adjust the input to exactly match the previous green layer. I'll slide the whole thing to the left, and then use the right handle to match the endpoint. Let's see what we have by playing the cliplet. At the start, she is down, and when we hit the new reverse play layer, she jumps back up. This is not exactly what I wanted. I also want to see her jump down. You'll notice there are two other handles on the play layers. They represent when and if the first and last frames of the play layer hold still. I'll slide the left one over to remove the hold on the start frame. Now when I play the cliplet, we see her jump down as defined in the green play layer, and she jumps back up from the purple layer. This creates a nice repeating cliplet with no sudden jumps. This cliplet has a total of four layers. The background, Pinocchio pedaling in the orange loop layer, the girl jumps down in the green play layer, and finally jumps back up in the reversed play purple layer. This cliplet is ready to export and share, as we showed in the first tutorial. That's about it for this tutorial. I hope you can see how to be creative with Blink cliplets. Have fun!